Hey everyone, and welcome back to Then and Now. Today, we are going to be talking about the Home Alone cast and where they are today. Make sure you stay until the end as you don't want to miss out on where some of these actors are today. Don't forget to turn on post notifications, like, and subscribe to our channel. Home Alone is certainly a movie everyone enjoyed in the 90s. It is still being watched till this very day. The joy it has brought to many people is phenomenal. Home Alone is about an eight-year-old boy whose parents accidentally left him at home alone while they flew away on Christmas vacation. Kevin is left by himself to fend off two burglars from robbing his house. Despite the movie being almost 30 years old, it still builds our faith on Christmas miracles. The Home Alone movie had really amazing actors who blew the mind of so many. The cats were what made this movie hilarious and a joy to watch every year. Kevin, Macaulay Culkin. After the release of Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin became the biggest child star of his generation. At the age of 13, his career was doing so well because his parents would not allow him cast in certain films if the producers were not willing to pay millions of dollars. He appeared in other movies after his role such as My Girl, Home Alone 2, and Richie Rich. Macaulay Culkin didn't continue acting until the age of 23 when he did the comedy Party Monster and the movie Save. After a while, Macaulay also moved into the world of music, where he fronts the band, The Pizza Underground. In 2004, Culkin was arrested for the possession of a number of legal substances. He received three one-year suspended prison sentences and was ordered to pay $540 in fees. In 2005, at a Michael Jackson trial, Culkin testified stating that he had slept in a bed with Jackson, but Jackson never touched him. He attended his burial in 2009 and is the godfather of three of Jackson's children. He now does commercials and in 2009, he starred in the movie Changeland and the TV show Dollface. Also, he is very much present on YouTube and does podcasts on a YouTube channel called Bunny Years. His dating life has consisted of an eight-year relationship with the incredibly beautiful Mila Kunis. Since 2017, he's been dating his Changeland co-star, Brenda Song. You'll be shocked to know Culkin is now 40 years old. On his 40th birthday, he tweeted, Hey guys, want to feel old? I'm 40, you're welcome. The tweet became the fifth most liked tweet on Twitter. The child star actor is estimated to be worth a whopping $18 million. In February 2020, American Horror Story co-creator Ryan Murphy announced that Culkin is part of the starring cast of the series' upcoming 10th season. In April 2020, it was reported Macaulay Culkin, who played Kevin McAllister in the first two films, would reprise his role on the upcoming remake that will premiere on Disney+. Plus. Buzz, Devin Ratray. Devin continued to play bad guy in movies for children and also psychopaths and criminals for children as he grew up after he acted the role of being the worst bullying older brother of Macaulay Culkin. He also played a role of bullying characters in the early 90s, landing him roles in Little Monsters and Dennis the Menace. He's also in a band called Little Bill and the Beckleys, performing as a band singer, guitarist, and lyricist. He now does concerts with his band in small New York bars. Now, at the age of 43, he continues to act and was cast in the 2019 movie Hustlers, with Home Alone 6 on the horizon, also in 2021. Kate. Catherine O'Hara. She portrayed as the sweetest emotional mother of Kevin. She is also an Emmy-winning actress and still steady in Hollywood. She is currently a regular on the CBS sitcom Schitt's Creek as Maura Rose. She was honored with the Governor General's Performing Arts Lifetime Artistic Achievement Award in 2020. At the age of 66, she continues to do movie voiceovers such as The Addams Family in 2019, Canada Far, and Wide as Well, Canada far and wide, as well as being cast in the 2021 movie, Extinct, Marv, Daniel Stern. Daniel Stern, known as the Silly Robber, till this very day, everyone remembers him for playing the role of Marv, even though he tries to clear the image from people's heads. From time to time, he now takes the director's seat on shows like The Wonder Years, Complete Savages, and Manhattan, which were all made by him. He also developed an interesting hobby where he makes bronze sculptures. He was most recently a regular on the WGN America series, Manhattan. He's no stranger to the movie scene at the age of 63, having appeared in Game Over, Man in 2018, James vs. His Future Self in 2019, and starred in eight episodes of the television show Shrill in the same year. Harry, 
Joe Pesky. Joe starred as Harry in the movie, one of the thieves. Since Home Alone, he has appeared in many movies alongside Robert De Niro in cult classics including The Goodfellas, Casino, and the latest 2019, The Irishman. He has appeared in a total of 16 movies over the past 30 years. He also got an Oscar for the Best Supporting Role in Goodfellas and became the star of other projects by Martin Scorsese. Home Alone 2, My Cousin Vinny, Casino, and Lethal Weapon 4 are other well-known movies he's been cast in. Peter, John Heard. After starring in the release of Home Alone, John continued to appear on TV and in movies. He also starred in various films after then from Awakening, In the Line of Fire, Pelican Brief, and shows like Battlestar Galactica, Prison Break, The Sopranos, CSI, and Modern Family. Unfortunately, he died in 2017 at the age of 71 due to surgery complications. Some of his films were released after his death. Megan, Hilary Wolf. After starring in the release of Home Alone, Hillary decided to stop acting and instead, and instead developed and improved herself in something she was always interested in, which was sports, which after gained her a win in the world championship in judo in the year 1994. She also represented the United States in judo in 2000, which unfortunately she didn't win. The last movie she was cast in was Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Heather. Kristen Minter. After her role in Home Alone, she kept on pursuing a career in acting and completed several projects over time. She worked on two amazing series, Highlander and ER, for close to 10 years. She was last seen on screen in 2015's Fire City, End of Days. She had a modeling career after a while, but she hardly appears on the screen anymore with nothing cast as far as 2021. Bowler, here in Culkin. The younger brother of Macaulay, Kieran, is quite popular in Hollywood these days. He also starred in A Welcome to the Dull House. Throughout his movie career, Kieran has played in more than 20 roles. He was also nominated for a Golden Globe several times. Following Home Alone, he appeared in the Father of the Bride franchise, Home Alone 2, Igby Goes Down, and Scott Pilgrim. After a while, Kieran took a break from acting just like his older brother did. At the age of 38, he continues to act and is well known for his portrayal of Roman Roy on HBO's hit series, Succession. Tracy, Sinta Moses. Sinta Moses was seen at commercials and stage plays, not until after small role in Home Alone. But this same small role became a starting point to her being on TV. She also appeared in other films such as My So-Called Life, Greek, Bones, The Mentalist, and Ghost Whisperer. Sinta is also doing a miniseries called Little Fires Everywhere, appearing on screen in 2020. Sonda, Diana Campanu. After starring in the film Home Alone, she started having small roles in Dennis the Menace and the TV series Brimstone. After acting for a while, she focused on music, which got a lot of reviews from critics after her release in 2006. She has recorded three albums, and she now also has a contract with the label and plays small roles in short movies. Marley, Robert's Blossom. In all of Robert's roles in films, it is the role of Marley in Home Alone that was quite positive. People knew him for only the bad guy roles, but he attracted few lovers from the Christmas film Home Alone. But after starring in Home Alone, he rarely appeared on TV. Afterwards, he left the cinema world about five years later. We didn't hear of him for a while until we found out that he spent his final years in a nursing home writing beautiful poems, and he died in 2011 at the age of 87. Lenny, Angela Gothels. Angela didn't show up for the film's sequel, but she worked consistently in Hollywood, very popularly known for a recurring role on a TV series 24, Grey's Anatomy, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, Law & Order. Home Alone pushed her into more serious projects in the film industry. She also appeared in popular movies like Jerry Maguire, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, Spanglish, and then she last appeared on TV in 2010 episode of Royal Pains to concentrate more on her family. And there it is, the Home Alone cast, then and now. Which of these actors, then and now, shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Can you believe there could be a Home Alone Disney Plus remake of the movie we have come to love and enjoy? Also, Fuller is now Roman Roy on Succession. Wow! Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.